the flowers are blooming and the trees are turning green again. So today I'm gonna show you 10 ways to photograph spring. here in the Bronx at the New York Botanical Garden because there's really no better place to capture everything spring has to offer, from reflections to macro and maybe even some wildlife. There are endless photos of flowers all over the world, all over the internet. So when we shoot flowers, we want to shoot something unique. I'm using a 12 millimeter lens to get low and wide on the flowers to get a non-traditional angle. I like to use the sun to create sunspots and lens flares through the trees to make a more enhanced and professional look. Move around the foreground to find that sweet spot where the sun peeks through to create the effects you're looking for. You can take your lens hood off and you can also do this with your iPhone. I'm getting up close and personal with the flowers with my macro lens. The macro lens allows you to get nice and close to the object, unlike the other lenses I'm using. Now to my favorite part, portraits. Flowers, plants, and trees are a great prop for portraits, and you can use them in many different ways. I have my model here, Catherine, and my 24 to 70 for these shots. Yeah, there you go. Spring means wildlife is back in action, and I have my 70 to 200 to capture some birds and some other fun friends. If you have a kit lens like a 55 to 210, you can still get some great shots with that. When I think of spring, I think of super luscious long exposures. You could do a ton with long exposures and get really creative, like photograph waterfalls. When you are photographing long exposures, make sure you use a tripod. And if you're using your iPhone, make sure you shoot in live photo mode. Are you really capturing nature if you're not getting some memorable landscape shots? Being at the Botanical Garden, there are endless compositions you can get, especially when there's a cool exhibition going on. And lastly, don't forget to turn your camera around and get a couple selfies. You've been taking photos of different things and animals and people all day. Let's have a little me time.
spring is in the air and it's time to dust off those cameras if you've had them packed away all winter and get out and shoot. Tag us in all of your spring photos and let us know if you'd like to see more videos like these in the comments below. I'm Maria and thanks for watching.